Welcome back to our YouTube channel. Please subscribe and like the channel to stay up to date with the latest celebrity news. We always update the hottest news posted daily. Latest news for today Wednesday, December 22nd, 2021. We invite you to update the news. An anonymous spectator caused controversy and received the most reaction from the audience when they wrote, Uck, Temmie. I feel like each episode, her attitude just gets worse and worse. She acts like the whole world is out to get her. Everyone wants to help. But it's gotten to the point where everyone has become more frustrated than helpful, I will admit. She just has a shit attitude. From her responses to the therapist to when she went to see the doctor. It's always I don't know or shoulder shrugs or just an ugly facial expression. I just want to smack her. I went back to rewatch the beginning episodes and Tammy started off at 605 pounds. Not to mention that she was so much more optimistic about losing weight and took accountability. I'm curious to find where it changed and here are the harsh comments that received the most likes. One. Her behavior toward the therapist in this episode was the most repulsive I've ever seen her be. And that is saying a lot. She's truly awful. Too. Yeah. Like the therapist was trying to help her. I mean, Tammy made the appointment and went. The therapist didn't do that for her. If she didn't want to go then she shouldn't have gone and be honest with her doctor that she doesn't want to go. She threw a fit because the therapist office wasn't able to accommodate someone her size. Well duh. It's not so often someone her size goes into their office. I bet, she's just a crybaby and is always the victim. 3. I just want to freaking punch her obese macadamia looking face when she was being so rude during the therapy and then laughed about being annoyed a lot as if it's cute and quirky. Seriously at this point can someone just leave her to be the fattest bee and die alone up 4. I try to keep positive while being world's biggest bitch was hilarious irony. 5. The way she talked in her interview scene about her home health nurse was beyond. She knew when she took this job she was gonna have to push me around as a person. Disha has physically limitations herself. She doesn't need to break her back because Tammy refuses to walk 10 feet. Tammy is such a fucking crybaby. It blows my mind that she is so immobile that her fitness goal is walking 75 steps a day. We walk more than 75 steps just walking to grab the mail or out to the car. 6. I'm so confused on what Tammy is actually thinking. She always acts frustrated that no one is helping her. But when a therapist, who is there to help her, tries, she just completely shuts down and acts like she doesn't need to be there. 7. When Tammy at the end of the episode said I'm 639 pounds at my weigh-in but I didn't lose weight. I'm content I lost even more hope for her which I didn't know was possible 8. I think the fame and attention has really taken over more than her persona. I bet she has the mentally of I'm famous and have 30 followers. And yet, everyone is telling me I'm living wrong. This is the first time she's had any sort of limelight and when everyone is just trying supporting her. I bet it comes off as they don't want this for me. Which is the exact opposite mentality she needs right now 9. Tammy's behavior was flat out disgusting with the therapist. I truly don't think she wants to lose weight. She thinks she is some kind of inspirational reality TV star. The only thing she inspires me to do is stay at a halfway decent BMI number. I wanted to slap those hateful looks right off her face. 10. She has some deep issues, obviously. What adult acts like this? She literally crosses her arms and shuts down like a child. 11. It's the total and utter immaturity for me. She does not want to change and will continue to view and portray herself as the victim. When she was speaking to Tisha earlier in the episode about how much pain she is in, she looked almost gleeful as to how Tisha kinda slipped back on her criticism. I watched the latest episode today and then found myself watching S21. I couldn't believe how gargantuan Tammy has actually become. Her weight gain since season 1 is actually quite shocking. Her behavior today with the therapist reminded me of a toddler refusing to accept their mistakes. Does anyone seriously believe she will lose enough weight to have the surgery? 12. Amy is trying to make herself sound like a success story. She needs to lose more weight. I agree with the comments saying her arms are still fatty. 13. I'm just gonna throw this in here. I'd kiff I'm alone but I didn't buy Amy's loose skin storyline. I know she's lost a lot of weight but it wasn't looking like those on 600 pound life where it's super saggy. Her arms still looked like not so much like excess skin but more so flab that wasn't where it should be to be removed. 14. I wish they would show the real ugly side of Tammy. The binge eating. The waking up alone and struggling to even function to use the restroom. The silly position she must even sleep in to keep her weight from crushing her. Let her see her life as it really is. In need of desperate help 15. WTF is the point anymore of her being on the show? She is absolutely miserable to watch and I get angry every time she has that awful attitude. I really hope she gets fired or something. She's not a good look for the network or the show at all. 16. Tammy was her usual awful self. But for the very first time tonight, I saw a good side to Tammy and Amy's mom. She was actually motherly and concerned and shed a tear. I was like where has she been all this time 17. That poor therapist. 
weary face, she was like you're going to have to engage and answer questions and when she first asked Tammy to shut the door, weary face, weary face, 18, after watching the episode and reading everyone's comments, I really think Tammy has some kind of personality, if not mental, disorder, the constant self-victimization, the inability to take responsibility, the inability to hold herself accountable, the drive to only continue ruining herself via food even after multiple health issues, and seeing everyone else as an extension of herself rather than their own person, those are not the traits of a well-adjusted individual. I mean, that's kind of a dust statement, but really, it makes more sense when you put all of the puzzle pieces together and look at the bigger picture, no pun intended.